Welcome to stage 10 of the 2017 Tour de France. Like and subscribe for more. After paying a visit to the site of the Neanderthal man in stage 2 starting from Dusseldorf, the peloton of the Tour de France continues this journey into prehistory with a detour in the northern Dordogne uh, province near to the La Cour Caves where the Cro-Magnon paintings after about one hour racing from Bidjou. It's a scenic route via Sarlat and wonderful landscapes of Donon. It's also a very nice way for the riders to resume racing after an incredibly eventful, pardon the pun, uh, stage 9 that saw the uh, both the GC and other riders completely massacred from the Tour de France. Nothing like the individual time tramp from uh, Berjac to Peugeot, run by Tony Martin in 2014. GC riders aren't expected to fight this time, as the Pyrenees are looming. But the race with the green jersey is on. Marcel Kittel is in the lead, but his predecessor Arnaud de Mar isn't in contention anymore, as his arrival in Chambéry was outside of the time limit. He was accompanied uh, to the end of his nightmare by his teammate Michael uh, Delage, who would have been uh, the infant du Pays in Dolon. Kittel's main threat now is Michael Matthews, who is racing like Peter's gun in previous years. The Australian won the intermediate sprint of stage 9 after two horse category climbs might try to make the breakaway again to reduce his deficit of 52 points from Kittel. The roads of Delon suit the uh, escapees, but it might well come down to another uh, bunch kick in the finish in Majak. That brings me to the end of my preview of stage 10 of the 2017 Tour de France. Be sure to like and share this video, post any comments, questions, criticisms that you may have in the comment section down below. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and last but by no means least until the two of us meet again. Stay carved up for the win. I'll see you next time. Cheers.